What's good, everybody? Long time since I've been doing a voiceover, so today we're going to talk about something that a lot of you guys find interesting. It really, well, it kind of relates to the food that's on the video. I'm just playing this because it's like, you know, we got something to look at while I talk. But honestly, what I want to talk about might be really interesting to you all, so definitely hit that subscribe button and that like button and drop a comment after this video uh, if you guys have anything to say or feedback to give me. So guys, when I make these videos, I really try to jump in your shoes and relate to you guys because I've been there and done that in the past 12 years. You know, a lot of people come at me because I push intermittent fasting and they just have this dogma, this constant you know, utilization of this old theory that is kind of incorrect, you know what I'm saying? Like you can look around on the internet and find a lot of this stuff saying that thermogenics is bullshit, that it is all revolving around insulin and the absence of insulin to get the fat off. And then you got a lot of people saying, oh, insulin is so important and it's needed to build muscle and stuff like that. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Before we get into that though, we gotta talk about hard work and consistency. And it's not what you guys think, you know? Obviously, in the past, what, nine years when I didn't utilize intermittent fasting, I was, using, I was utilizing a conventional diet. So that means I'm eating breakfast, I'm eating snacks in between meals. And obviously, when you're utilizing that strategy, you are going to need hard work and consistency. Um, what I, always pushed when I was growing up and coming up in my fitness game was I have to be super consistent. I realized that a lot of people, they weren't getting gains because they weren't consistent enough. And, you know, at the core, that's very uh, important. But, you know, what I'm trying to get at is when you're eating and setting yourself up to not burn fat, it takes hard work and consistency. You literally have to overwork your bad strategy. Haven't you heard that diets don't work? A study at UCLA, like years ago guys, like over a decade ago, found that over 95% of people that dieted, the diet did not work, okay? And that's, that's alarming to someone that hasn't read this study, but you guys don't have to look it up, just trust me and take my word for it, because. These diets, they don't actually work. And you know what the crazy thing was is that the people that were dieting, years later, they got fatter than before. It's crazy. That is what I'm trying to get at. If you are heavy set and you've been there for a while and you dieted, the only thing you have lost is water weight. It's crazy because the only true way to burn fat is through absent insulin levels. So when someone's dieting, they're still raising their insulin levels when they're eating breakfast and snacks in between meals. So essentially, the body never has a chance to tap into the fat and to utilize it. So when people are dieting, they actually are just burning water weight. You know, they, you, you hear people all the time, oh yeah, I lost five to six pounds, and then they're just so happy about it. But then they say, oh, I plateaued. I mean, you know why, right? Because the insulin raising isn't letting your body tap into the body fat. Like, you guys saw me drinking a beer. Like, I can remain shredded and still drink alcohol. I hate to admit it, but, you know, that's just the power of intermittent fasting and strategizing your insulin so you can actually burn the fat throughout the day and then when you go work out and you eat afterwards, you get amazing nutrition partitioning. And then the insulin, you know, the main job of insulin is to do nu nutrition partitioning. And then if you exceed uh, your glycogen levels, it's going to store it as fat. So a good thing to remember is every time you eat, you are literally storing fat because when insulin is raised, the job of insulin is to store fat if you can't use it right away. So now that we've covered what insulin actually does and if you use a conventional diet and you're eating all throughout the day and how the insulin levels are raised and you can never get it to the absent levels because it takes four to six hours to get back to that state. So 
you know, now that we've covered that, you guys know that obviously it takes hard work and consistency. Now, these people that were dieting, they were active, okay? And I want to say I'm one of the 5%, I'm part of the 5% group for sure. Like, I know how to grind it out, I know how to work hard, and I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to take any weeks off, any months off. You just don't even include me in the quitter category. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am a hard worker when it comes to fitness. I try to be in other aspects of my life, but other people, they are not, okay? That's where they fail. They diet, but they can't overwork it. So... The main point what I'm saying is, obviously the conventional diet works. People get results with the conventional diet, but those people are actually extremely hard workers, um, or they're on steroids or something, but the hard workers can outwork the bad strategy, which is conventional dieting. Now, like, I managed to do it because I never missed a day, I never missed a week you know so what I'm trying to push to you guys after nine years of utilizing conventional diet I know all about it guys I know how to count calories you know I know how to work hard and that's all there is to it when you utilize a conventional diet but I'm trying to give you guys the way out I know a lot of you guys are using the conventional diet and it's not working you guys are confused as shit you guys are like but I'm counting my calories I'm working hard but I can't lose the weight and I know exactly why you can't lose the weight. It's because your basal metabolic rate has adjusted to the low calories. Your body is literally putting out less energy, so it's saving the energy for your brain and your organs so you can live. You know the starvation mode that people talk about? That only applies to the conventional diet. Obviously, if you're eating 200, 300 calories a meal, your body's gonna think that's all it's getting. It's just a different way that the body goes about it because when you utilize intermittent fasting, you never go to, through starvation mode. You have all this energy on your body, all the fat, 3,500 calories per pound of fat. It's really amazing. So the easy way out is to skip breakfast. It's to not snack in between meals if you can't do that. If you really have to, eat meals throughout the day, I suggest eating breakfast, not snacking, lunch, don't snack again, and then dinner, all right? Now, if you really have the ability to do it, you got to just skip breakfast and push it as far as possible. And literally, guys, this is the key right here. When you skip breakfast, you continue the growth hormone secretion. And everyone's always talking about calories in, calories out, how macros and you know, eating correctly is the correct way. They say like 60 to 80% of it is dieting. And I used to say that guys, but I've seen the light pushing it out to you guys. It's really about the growth hormone. Growth hormone is the main ingredient to build muscle. It promotes fat loss. When you utilize intermittent fasting, noradrenaline helps you perform. It helps you think clear. It's that fight or flight hormone guys. It is so beneficial to utilize intermittent fasting and the guys that knock it and they just want to utilize a conventional diet that doesn't work they've been doing it for years they are the ones that are saying the ripped guys are fake natties because whenever they try to get ripped they can't the basal metabolic rate adjusts and they decrease the output of energy and they stop the fat loss process because they're eating all day all right guys hope you guys found that useful definitely subscribe if you haven't like the video and drop a comment if you guys have any feedback or have anything to say i'm out guys i'll see you all next video peace